Hello again, YouTubers. Welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Board Game Captain. I'm Lynn. And today we're going to be unboxing the Eurovision Song Contest, The Board Game, which has way too many subtitles. <laughs> uh, Eurovision well, is going on right Eurovision now. Well, the Eurovision Song Contest is the full name. And then The Board Game. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, this is... If, if for those of you who are unfamiliar... Uh, unfamiliar with Eurovision. Eurovision is the oldest running song contest. Uh, and it started in Europe, hence Euro, though now they do have countries in it that are not in Europe. For instance, Australia and Israel are part of Eurovision now. And it's basically, it's a, it's a big yearly song contest to pick the biggest, the best song. So let's see what comes in the box here. Uh, we have... Two, four, six different, I don't know why I couldn't Horns. count for a minute. Two, uh, six different colored meeples and a die. Those aren't really meeples, they're really plums. Yeah, the, they're like the saw. Are they, are sorry. they plastic or are they I wood? I think the die is wood. Well, why don't you keep opening this up there, I'll have a look here. Then we have... Oh, these are wood. These are wood. These points are wood. We have five they're packs nice. of cards. Um... There's no insert in the box, so... No. The, the, the cards seem to come with rubber bands, which, that's... Something. It's not a rubber band. It's the little. Oh, is that just the thing, thing to rip to tear? Yeah. Them off? Oh, they're, okay. They're shrink okay. wrapped. Oh, there, there are um. There are some some questions like about what, what, read a couple about of history of Eurovision. Which year did Hallelujah win? No idea. Well, it, I think that's the the answer is shaded. So that would that would have been uh, I just lost the card. Nineteen seventy nine. Oh boy. I guess it's multiple choice. Um, the other side is Dutch. There's English on one side, Dutch on the other side. Um, Interesting. So those are like question ones, but then there's also ooh, that's Dutch. <laughs> I, ho I, ho I hope this is not just a quiz game. Well, no. See, this one has this has a stage on it, and and it says urban. So I'm guessing that's how the stage is outfitted. Because you do supposed to make a, you're supposed to make a song. So here's we have stage traditional, okay. stage romantic. Oh, and then the song type Latin, R and B, pop. So I don't. I mean, I know you have to make a, hmm. a song contest entry, but then there's also, like trivia questions apparently. Well, we'll have to check it out. See how I that keep is. Keep looking at the Dutch side by accident. I am. I am. 100% certain I will not be a fan of the trivia portion of this game. But the if, game rules. But if they've got a cool kind of sim portion where you uh, simulate being like a country coming up with their entry for Eurovision, yeah. that might be cool. That's that's the thing I'm more interested in. Well, here's the game set up. The rules aren't that long. It's about seven, seven pages. So do they have a, a separate one, a separate book for English and for Dutch? Dutch, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we looks like we have some punch outs, punch outs of different countries. Um, a lot of different flags with the hearts, like they show in Eurovision. Yeah, that's the top part. Is it all the countries that take part? Are they all it, there? This no, these are not like forty three countries, Josh. Oh, how many are there? Um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty. There's twenty five. So I I don't know how they they're double sided. It are they the same on both sides? No, they're not. Oh, so there are. There's fifty, I guess. Huh. So oh, because they have Monaco because Monaco I think participated once and Luxembourg participated at one point. Okay. So it looks like they might have all the countries that. I wonder how you one... use like I wonder how you use them since they're two sided. That's gonna be interesting. I don't know. And here's the board is round. And strange. There's actually like a design on the back. Is a note on the back. And, and then I think, well, those I, are color coordinated to the pieces you get. I'm and wondering then I if think these, these are it, spots. So the the notes going around are, yeah, are actually. Yeah, and it looks like there's two loops. Yeah, there's two circles. Okay, this looks really weird. I think it's supposed to look like the stage, Josh. That kind of makes sense. Um, I'm going to be very interested to see how this plays, but. Uh, I mean, this was obviously, this was your pick, not mine. Now, I, I do get into Eurovision with you a little bit, but uh, uh, 
you're the one who's the Eurovision fanatic in the house. So we'll have to check out the rules and hopefully this one will be good. But that's everything that comes in the box for Eurovision, the song contest, the board game. No, Eurovision song contest, the board game. Did I put in one too many of those? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so this is this is everything that comes in for the Eurovision, the song contest, <laughs> the board game, the experience, the... I don't know. I, I can't think of anything else I can say the on because I want to add a whole bunch of those to it. But there you go. That's everything that comes in the box. We'll have to check this out and let you guys know what we think. So if you enjoyed this unboxing video, be sure to give it a like, share it on any forms of social media you may have. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the board game Captain. That's Captain spelt with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game on.